You are about to witness bodily dismemberment, sub-zero temperatures, and all-out mayhem. Brought to you by the Frontline Network. What's up everybody and welcome to TFN's second Company of Heroes 2 gameplay walkthrough where we are going to be showing off the Axis side in a 1v1 with myself and Fiddle Saint. What's up man? What's up Tommy? Time for some COH2 action once again and this time with the opposing side, not the Soviets this time. This time we will be looking on Tommy's screen instead mainly and he will be playing the Axis side so this is uh, it's going to be good. This is going to be good, and hopefully we're going to show you guys some of the new units that they've put into the German side at this time. Uh, no, I'm just going to go ahead here and start the game. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously everyone's, or um, well most most of you guys are going to be familiar with the Wehrmacht from the original COH game, and there are quite a few recurring units. Units such as the Ostwind and, uh, and tanks like the Panther, units like Grenadiers and the MG42, they're all making a reappearance once again, but there are quite a few new features, a few new upgrades for these units. So hopefully we will show those off to you guys at home. So first of all, I have my Pioneers. This time it's gone up from a four uh, unit squad to a, uh, well, for, for, it's gone up to a four unit squad from the original two Pioneer squad. So um, a fair bit tougher and a bit more fighting power with these guys. Again, they have uh, similar upgrades as to what they had in COH. They got the flamethrower upgrade. Uh, again, 50 munitions, same as the original game. And they've also got uh, the ability to upgrade, uh, same as the, if you watch our Soviet video, um, they, they also have the hazard removal package um, for mine detectors and uh, and cutting barbed wire, which is hopefully something they're going to change, because I know that one that they tried this in the original COH game, uh, making people pay to cut barbed wire, and all it meant was that there was loads and loads of wire griefing. <laughs> and it was just retarded because everyone yeah. ran around barbed wiring everything. Of course, it's so natural. It's like, oh, I can I can put down something for free, and he's gotta pay for it. Yeah, uh, you know. mm, yeah, yeah. Hopefully that will be changed. That will almost certainly be changed. Hopefully, um, but yeah. So here's my is my HQ building. It pretty much just looks like a hole in the ground right now. I'm kind of hoping that this is just a placeholder. And of course, it is worth bearing in mind, as with the Soviet video that we made, uh, we are of course recording this uh, now on the 20th of December. This is part of the uh, the Alpha stress test um, multiplayer. So uh, this is an early build. Lots of stuff will no doubt have changed, but hopefully a lot of the core mechanics, a lot of the core units and stuff will remain pretty similar. So taking a look at this HQ building, I can build just pioneers out of there, nothing else. And much like uh, the original game, I have the ability to build myself um, to, or to tech up to Battle Phase 2, Battle Phase 3, and Battle Phase 4 for my various different units. So first of all, I just built my first unit out of my Tier 1 building. Uh, this is going to look very similar to players of the original game who are familiar with the old Wehrmacht Tier 1, uh, except for this time, the Axis Tier 1 here, you've got Grenadiers, no Volks Grenadiers anymore, you just got uh, regular Grenadiers. You've got the MG42, uh, again, very much like the original um, MG42 in, uh, in many regards. And you've got a mortar, which is an interesting uh, change. This kind of replaces the bike uh, in terms of original Company of Heroes tier tier one for the Germans, and then you have the regular sniper. Now the snipers do work quite a bit differently from how they used to work in the original game. So hopefully we'll get to show that off to you here. You saw what the Soviet sniper is like uh, in our last video. Uh, Fatal showed you off the the two man Soviet sniper squad, and hopefully I'm going to get a chance to show you here what the the one man German sniper squad looks like. Uh, you filthy conscripts. <laughs> I'm everywhere! <laughs> he's everywhere, he's conscript spamming, lads! Oh god, yeah. Oh no. 
Actually, I can. Scrape, this, this is like one great thing, actually. I can actually stop your cap by staying in the range of this little circle up here in the north. Because you can see that Fatal, he has capped to about three quarters of the way up on this point. And I'm able, just by standing in there and, and stalling out for time, I'm able to actually uh, delay the, uh, the cap on there. Although I probably can't stay there forever because I will eventually go down. So here's my first Grenadier Squad, much like in the original COH. It's a tough infantry, mainline infantry unit. Uh, we're going to ignore costings and things like that, as we did in the previous video. Costings aren't really uh, worth looking at at this point so early on. Balance isn't really uh, a feature at the moment of the game. But you can see these grenadiers are probably going to be able to beat out these, these single conscripts on their own without many difficulties. Well, I can always hope, but yeah, you're beating me quite handily in a long-range combat. I've done a, a bit of health damage on the Grenadiers there, but you've killed a lot of men. And now with an MG set up as well, you know, there's just no way. My Corpse has got to get out of there. But at the same time, the Corpse is a very cheap unit, so... And, and you know, even if the costs are, you know, uh, prone to change the, when uh, before retail and when it goes into beta and whatnot, and more testing has been done and more feedback has been posted, you know, I think Corpse are still going to be, you know, weak, cheap squads. Yeah, I think so. I mean, they're going to be much like the, the, the rifles of the original game compared to the Grenadiers, who are probably going to turn out to be quite expensive, tough units. And there's a nasty Molotov cocktail, which uh, Grenadiers are not very fuel resistant, or flame resistant, I should say. They are not wearing their flame retarding suits today. No, they are not. It actually burns for quite a long time, doesn't it? Yeah, the Molotov is pretty, pretty nifty. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> MGs uh, everywhere. Still burning. Okay, so here's Sniper, and hopefully I'm going to get a chance to show you uh, how he works. So you'll notice he is actually cloaked, and there's no cloak button. So you're probably thinking, how on earth is he cloaking? Well, the cloak is now passive. So you can see, as long as he's in cover, uh, he can actually move between cover um, and stay cloaked. But as soon as I take him out of cover and leave him there for a couple of seconds, he is going to be... Uh, he's going to show himself, and there he is. He's now showing himself, and there's his first shot, taking his first shot on that conscript squad. Um, but then I put him back into cover, and there he is. He's cloaked again pretty much instantly. So in that regard, it's, uh, well, uh, quite a bit different from the original game. Yeah, it's like, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, passive cloak instead of the active cloak in Conflict Heroes exactly, 1 where you yeah, can walk around You can think of it as like uh, the way that Faustrum Jaegers used to cloak. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cloaking cover. Exactly. Now these Grenadiers, uh, they've got a few abilities and upgrades I'm going to talk about briefly here. They've got the LMG uh, that they've got, the MG42, the light LMG42, uh, a weapon that didn't see a whole lot of use in competitive high level play in the original game um, but in this game it's actually, uh, it's actually unlocked right at the start. Uh, they also have the ability to fire a Panzerfaust, again, right from the off without any teching required, and the ability to fire a rifle grenade shot, which is extremely potent, because unlike a regular grenade, it does not leave any kind of a trail or anything like that, and it's just generally uh, pretty powerful. So um, Yeah, there, there's a small animation on it. You can see when the guy like stands still and stuff, but you know, there's no timer like a grenade. So when it's fired, and if you're in the, still in the same vicinity where that rifle grenade has been fired, uh, your guys are dead. <laughs> it's pretty much what happens. Yeah. And you see, I'm now actually laying some mines with this one man pioneer squad here in the middle. And you notice it was actually a minefield that I put down here because you no longer can lay individual anti infantry mines. You can lay this S minefield, which is a proper minefield. And you'll notice it's actually pretty much exactly the same size as the radius of the capping point. So it's very much uh, an area denial weapon. Although I do also have the ability to lay a single telemine for 60 munitions, uh, which is only triggered by vehicles, but does do pretty ferocious damage to them. So here's my tier 2 building now. I've got a bunch of units here, and the tier 2 here, again, you might notice some similarities to the, uh, to the old game, but in a lot of ways, quite different as well. So uh, I've got Panzer Grenadiers, who are basically like tougher versions of regular Grenadiers, but they can also get Panzer Shreks. I've got the half track, which is pretty much identical in every way to the half track from the original Company of Heroes. It can transport troops and reinforce troops in the field, as well as upgrade to flamethrowers. 
I have the armored car, which players will recognize as being very much uh, the, the armored car from the Panzer Elite in the original game. A very potent anti-infantry tool can be very powerful indeed, and there's actually quite a nice flank, and I think you might actually fuck me up a bit here. Uh, <laughs> this isn't good. Oh! Hans goes down! Oh my god, my curse is just all like Whoa. died in one shell. That was insane. Not good for me. Not good at all. Uh, I think my flamers are screwed. My flamers are screwed. I think I killed my own flamers. <laughs> that was bad. Possibly, although I might end up losing this armored car here. I hope so. He's not actually shooting. Ah, now he's shooting. Now you're gonna lose that squad. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, deep aids! Oh, my MG didn't even fire. Okay. Retreat! Well, that was lovely. Okay, so that was the armored car, which pretty much just like in in COH again, it um, it's very powerful anti-infantry, but its uh, armor is penetrated by small arms fire. And as you saw there, 18 aids, as held by conscripts, are very very potent against them. So and AT dates are similar to the American stickies, uh, you know, uh, they, they net, uh, you know, almost always a damaged engine and things like that. So uh, you can slow down the vehicles and then chase it with small arms fires, just just like in uh, Vico. Yeah, exactly. So here I've got my Panzer Grenadier squad. These guys are very tough and they come with default MP44s, um, but also the ability to upgrade Panzer Shreks. So you can really think of them as like uncloaked stormtroopers in a lot of ways, but with free MP44s, they also have the ability to throw rather nasty bundle nades. So overall, a pretty powerful package and uh, not to be taken lightly in terms of their fighting power. I'm actually going to get myself. What am I going to get? Get one of these. Going that way. Grenadiers reporting. Awaiting fire mission. Commencing barrage. Ah, oh, so there's a sniper from Fatal. Oh! I put a put down a mortar around there in anticipation of if you go in there. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that was good ante anticipation. I was, and uh, <clears throat> I think I forgot to mention in the last video that the, the Soviet snipers are actually, as far as I'm aware, female. Uh, yeah, that's right. They have they have a female voice. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. So what am I gonna get here? I'm gonna get myself. So I've got various doctrine abilities. Uh, and a flamethrower that just isn't firing. Now it is. There we go. Flamethrowers can be pretty nasty in this game. I mean, at least at this point in the alpha, they seem to have really buffed the damage. Except, uh, well, I'm just look it's just made me look like a moron here because I totally lost that battle. But uh, yeah, normally I think my squad, my squad split it itself up. That's why. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be why. Which was fortunate for me. Very, very fortunate. You need some reconnaissance? Um, so yeah, as you can see, I've got this uh, this armored car here. When it comes with default, it just has this side MG. It doesn't have the big auto cannon that everyone remembers the armored car in the Panzer Elite actually having. So that's what I actually had to buy the upgrade for just now. Is that big old auto cannon? Before it gets the auto cannon, it's uh, it's not nearly as, as scary, really. No, it does small arms fire. It's good against squishy units. Like you know, it's it's still pretty potent against uh, combat engineers and uh, uh, and conscripts and you know uh, low health squads like snipers and whatnot. But the auto cannon upgrade is what makes it the beast that it really is. Uh, it's it's extremely potent, especially against infantry, obviously. But it can also kill smaller things. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Smaller oh, things right like uh, half tracks and uh, other things in the in the Soviet arsenal. Are you could not like Panzer oh. Grenadiers. My God, what was that even? That was mortar. Oh God, mortar, lovely. Oh, I think I'm gonna run away. <laughs> Probably not a bad plan. My god, you, you killed my conscripts. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Come on, fight for the motherland! 
Oh my god, these pounce of are ripping me up. It's MP44s versus fucking bolt action rifles. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> it is a problem. It is a problem. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Oh! Ow. Bundle! Ow! 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 So here you can see the tier 3. Now the tier 3 has changed quite a lot since the original game. Uh, you'll notice that no longer can you get... Um, no, no longer is this like the, the realm of uh, nebbles and boomers and stuff. The Puma and the Nebel actually don't don't appear, at least not in the build that we're playing. Instead, I get all manner of sort of nasty-looking vehicles. I get get access to the Oswin, to the Stug, to the uh, to the Panzerwerfer, which you can think of as a bit like the walking Stuka, and also um, and also the uh, the Panzer IV there, Panzer IV medium tank. Ah, it's the OP wagon. <laughs> I don't have any of my hotkeys on, so I'm, d I'm having to micro edit everything with a mouse, and it's not ending up very well. Okay. Oh, that didn't last very long. Ah, oh, that explosion in uh, spectacular fashion. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is, you notice I've got quite a lot of uh, low health squads. So if I want to heal them up as the Germans, what I have to do is I actually have to build a bunker. Uh, bunkers look quite a bit different to how they looked in the original game. Uh, they're no longer big concrete structures. They're much, uh, much more squishy. And um, that's what I'm going to be building here today yes. to get my Panzer Grenadiers healed up to full health again. Um, and I can get myself the... Uh, well, I could get myself the medic station, but I actually think I'd rather have a Shrek at this point, just because I think I need it in order to counter that T-70. Yeah, Miniature tank of doom, <clears throat> as we talked about in the last episode. It's extremely good against light vehicles like the half track. It just pooned it straight off the bat. Uh, and it's also very good against infantry. Uh, the coaxial guns in, in Couple of Heroes 2 on the tanks are, uh, are, are really good. Uh, yeah, they are. are and that armored car wreck is actually blocking me. There we go. Oh dear. You're not allowed to take that fast, babe. <laughs> Here I am, trying to build a little bit of everything, and you're just coming along and fucking it up. <laughs> I didn't get rid of that mortar. It was graping me severely. It wasn't even funny. Oh god. Fortunately for me, Shreks are rather overpowered. <laughs> Shreks are, um... The current version. Shreks are special. They're really, really good. Like, really, really good. Yeah, we uh, go. Same that time, the T-34. Yeah, the T-34s are also fairly good, so, uh, against the infantry, so... Oh my... God, what happened to my poor engineers? Yes, T-34, block your own infantry when they're retreating! <laughs> ah, <laughs> go, go, sniper! Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Die. Oh. See, so you notice that that Soviet tank is actually gaining veterancy, even though it's not getting any kills. It's just gaining veterancy purely through doing damage, which is the doing and the getting Soviet. damage. I think. Doing and getting damage. Yeah, it's it's uh, purely uh, that's a purely Soviet. Uh, uh, thing. The Axis game veterancy much in the US style, so I actually have to, I actually have to work for my kills. <laughs> my veterancy. I have to get real kills. So here we are. Mm, I still can't afford that. Uh, what I might do actually here, if I have spare, spare pioneer, which I will do in a minute, is I will get myself, I'll sort of over OP a point and give myself a. Um, myself a bit of a boost to my munitions income because I really do need it. Of 
Four conscripts. You're sure dead. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. More pioneers. That's what I need. Capturing objective. Hands with grenadiers moving out. So what I've got here is I have my friend the Stoke. He's come to join the fray. This is an ability I have, which is called Mark Target, but I don't really want to lose my Shrek Squad, but I will lose my Shrek Squad. And that is a T3585 thing. I don't quite know what it is. It's like an up Think of it as like an upgun, Sherman. It's like an upgun yeah. T34. Pretty much. And it Pretty is much. most potent versus my troops. I think uh, a tech to something a little bit heavier in caliber may be required soon. I think I may start my tech to tier 4 if I'm going to take on Fatal's heavy armor there uh, with nothing but Shreks and, and Oswins. Uh, in tier 4 I'm going to have all kinds of fun stuff coming out of there. Some very big tanks can get produced out of there so should hopefully be a bit of fun. Although of course I can always use my incendiary armor piercing rounds with my MG42 to try and kill his T-34 but I don't think it's going to work out too well. Might do, you know, uh, minimal damage to it here and there, but uh, it's not going to be something that you can really rely on to killing medium or heavy tanks with. Not really, no. So this Stug functions very much like the Stug of the previous game. Only now he is getting buttoned and he's going to die horribly. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> very, very disappointing. But yeah, the stocks are extremely good. Uh, if I had the, the normal uh, T3476, uh, it would be, you know, completely outgunned against, you know, a stock being a tank destroyer. But the Stug is uh, fairly fragile, just like, just like in uh, VCO to infantry abilities like AT nades and such, and you know fixed turret circle strafing uh, by T70s, which is still going to be able to penetrate it, uh, you oh, know yeah. semi reliably on the on the rear armor of tanks, and things of that matter. Ah, uh, you trying to kill the bridge? <laughs> no, no, the brick. <laughs> just killing, killing bricks. Oh, maybe maybe I need to like do a do an attack in the center or something and <laughs> get that VP there, because I just noticed that I'm draining. I was not aware of this. All right, I'm gonna pick a doctrine here, as I have been floating quite a lot of CPs. I'm gonna try and build this. This thing could be quite a lot of fun. Oh, okay, so here's my tier 4. And as you can see, I've got a lot of crazy shit in here. I've got, well, first of all, let's start on the far left-hand side. The Brumbar Storm Panzer. Very, very potent uh, tool to be used. Uh, pretty much as anti-everything. Um, it's pretty good versus infantry. It's pretty good versus tanks. Uh, I mean, right right now, it's 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 pretty damn OP. Um, you've also got the Panther. They call it a medium tank, but it still reigns supreme in KOTU much as Po one it was very very powerful and then you have the elephant tank destroyer which is extremely powerful oh. oh my god you blew up the bridge oh really <laughs> i think you blew up the bridge but t34 died oh wow that was, that was terrible i didn't even see it happen that is crazy well, uh, that, that's bad. Come on, you silly T-34, you can do it. Ow. Ow. 
Well, so much for that bridge, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Am I gonna flank now? <laughs> uh, you yes. don't. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently not. Yes, I'm gonna kill it. Oh, yes. painful. <laughs> painful. That two Panzer Grenadiers, yeah. These things are deadly accurate uh, <laughs> right now in the Alpha. Hopefully, you know, this is just one of many things that we keep on saying. Hopefully, this is just a placeholder. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm going to get myself one of these, um, which is hopefully going to give Fedel um, a heart attack when he sees it. And you notice also I've uh, got myself Vet 1 on the awesome, which is an unlock Blitzkrieg tactics, uh, which allows me to move my, my tank at bonus speed, even with a damaged engine. It's a very powerful tool. And I don't like you, Fedel. I don't like you. <laughs> Stop throwing things at me. You're very, you're very childish, you know that? I like throwing stuff at people. Molotovs, 18-8s. It's good. Oh, I don't like that, though. No. Uh, that was surprisingly low damage. That was surprisingly low damage. I thought it would do a lot more. Yeah, me too. I saw the timer, I was just like, nah. I'll, I'll just leave them there. It's just conscripts. I'm, I'm a bad Soviet commander. It's okay. <laughs> Just unlocked myself some sector artillery, which could be rather fun. Oh. Yeah, we should say it probably about the veterancy. Every time a unit gets vet one now, it's no longer some sort of fairly small boost to you know speed or acceleration or something. Instead, it gives you access to an ability. Um, not all of them are quite in yet, I think. And again, I think some of them may be placeholders. But um, for a lot of them, you know, for example, the Oswin, you can see here, the ability he gets is Blitzkrieg. For the other ones, you know, for these Panzer Grenadiers, for example, they got the ability to mark target. Hopefully I can kill your fucking MG before you steal it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing uh, access yeah. weaponry. It's like Deco all over again. I know, right? I like it. Okay, so I think I need... You know what I need? I need a bit more infantry. Ooh. I don't, I don't like that thing. And how are they gonna damage anyone already? A lot of damage. Wow. I, I, I just bounce? ate... I just 18 aided you and it bounced on the elephant armor. <laughs> that's that's quite literally quite epic. Ouch, Jesus Christ. Relax. Oh, oh wow. Check out the range on that baby. <laughs> that thing was immense. Yeah, when you turn on uh, the focus uh, the focus sight, it really does increase your your sight radius quite a lot. At the expense of course of um, of reducing your your sort of peripheral vision. Yeah, we're ready for it. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. So what can I get now? What to show off now? Let's show off the Panzerwerfer just so I can show everybody at home just how overpowered it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Right now it is fairly crazy. Come straight, we're not having a fun day. Well, props on getting them to bed too, then. <laughs> yeah, one squad survived. <clears throat> it's not bad. It's not, it's not, it's not awful. Uh, you know, like... Ah, oh, just as well, I got that Panzer Warfare and you're gonna get an AT gun. Oh no, it's not an AT gun, it's SU-85. Yeah. Oh my god. Nothing says insane range like elephant. <laughs> yeah, that is insane range.
Oh, wow, wow. Very, very painful. Stop doing that. Stop hurting me. <laughs> and I can actually track you through the fog of war using, um, using my, uh, my ability, my marked target ability. Oh yeah, I see a mark. It's, it's glowing green, which means I can spot it. There it is. Boom! Uh. And there's a Vet 3 Panzer Grenadier. Okay, so here's my Panzerwerfer that I'm going to try and show you guys. I may not be able to show too much of Tier 4 off besides this awesome elephant tank, simply because uh, it's so expensive right now, these units out of here. But what I can show you is the Mordehar track, which I just unlocked, and also I will try and show you guys the, the pack that I can build. Especially now I've cleared a few hedges, it uh, should actually be quite handy. And as you can see, just from the template, it is fucking huge. I mean, you know, the artillery guns are not this big. And here, I get to show you off the Panzerwerfer. Here it is. And you, you're going to see now just how potent it really is. Here it comes. Oh! Forcing an instant retreat. But it's... Think of it as, like, all the best bits from uh, the Nebel and the Walking Stuka put together. And that, that's what you get, really. It's its pretty its pretty insane. Ah, and finally, I can actually upgrade this to a medic station. So basically, how I'm going to heal my troops here is a bunch of medics are going to appear, and they're going to run around sticking a Lastoplast on, on all my guys and uh, repairing their, their paper cuts and uh, getting them in a, in a good shape again. So it is a more manual way of, of healing. It's not like the triage center where everything just gets healed at once. It is quite a bit more uh, more tricky yes. than that, but as you can see there, there they are, medics going to work, giving that guy a good old-fashioned blowjob uh, to get him back into the fight again. Because that's honestly what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You gave him a what now? <laughs> <laughs> they get down... I, I, I'll, just, I'll just let other people's imaginations decide what was going on there. These these pixelated models, not so innocent, I tell you. Wow, the range on that thing is insane. It, oh yeah, it is insane. Wow. <laughs> It's gonna be bad. Yeah, bet three conscripts. I don't like that. Awesome. So, anything else you wanna add about the German faction? You're just waiting to build a. Uh... Or what's the um, last unit you wanted to show off? I uh, just want to show off the Brumbar, really, which requires me to just just float a bit of manpower until I can get that. Um, but uh, yeah, this is basically how the German faction works thus far. Um, tier 2 particularly potent to the extent where it is a bit of a balance issue at the moment. Um, just because, you know, Panzer Grenadiers are so tough, uh, the armored car is so powerful, the half track useful, you know, you get 80 gun the pack as well, so, you know, there's sort of no reason not to get it at this point. But as soon as they iron that out, I think, um, you know, I mean, the, the Wehrmacht teching is, is, is quite similar, um, and fairly, uh, it's going to it's gonna be open to a lot of room for maneuver, I think, which is going to be good. And just look at the health in that element, damage engine didn't even do anything. Throw down another Panzerwerfer, why not? Bada bing, bada bye. Explosions everywhere. So here's my 
mortar half track. You can lay a regular mortar barrage. Again, just like in uh, the Panzer Elite, they can throw down. Uh, they can throw down regular barrages, smoke barrages, and incendiary mortar barrages. Um, so very powerful um, in that regard as well. And here you go, you're going to check out some sector artillery that I'm going to use on this unit. If Fatal is kind enough to oblige me with sticking still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blow up the Comet Engineers. Oh, that hurt. You blew up your own thing. <laughs> ah, oh, God damn it. Um, so yeah, it doesn't last for quite, a long, as quite as long as the Panzer Elite Sector Artillery, which I'm sure we are all eternally grateful for, because that thing was really stupid. Um, but it only lasts for 30 seconds, still costs a lot, 200 munitions, but it does still do a lot of damage, as we saw just there. So here we go, I've now got the Brumbar unlocked, so I'm just going to show you guys this Brumbar, and I think that's going to be it for for this episode. Of course, you know, in the future we will be working on actual replay casts, um, but we need a replay system to actually be in place right now, which, uh, which yeah. there isn't at this point in the beta, but uh, soon there will be. Ready, squad moving out. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem casting things without the replay system in, in, uh, in the game yet, so... Uh, yeah, whenever that happens, that don't exist in general is just <laughs> definitely tricky. Very, very hard. things that do exist. Oh God! What is that? Oh, it's the, the elephant. <laughs> elephant of doom. It's grating me. That thing is is so insane. It is insane. Seriously, I have nothing I mean, against it. I can't I, do I, anything. I've, against I've barely it. used it before this, but. Sure is tough. Now I just shocked your crew. I, I mean, this thing can fire from more than a whole screen away. Yes. More than a whole goddamn yes, screen. Oh, but he still can't kill anything. There we go. Oh no, I'm down to 14 VPs. Oh, bundle in the face. Painful. Oh my god! What was that? That could actually be the pack that's now killing your units. It does have two infantry kills. I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to use the Brumbar on any enemy units. So here's a picture of the Brumbar attack grounding things. And as you can see, <laughs> it does like a lot of damage. I could probably take down a whole forest within a few minutes. It fires kind of retardedly. Well, I was gonna say it fires retardedly quickly, but it's not firing at all right now. There we go. Yeah, we also have to mention there, there, there are uh, a couple of Doctrine units here and there and unlocks and uh, stuff of that matter that we haven't been able to show off in either the Soviet or the Axis video. So, uh, yeah, obviously these, these are not 100% complete. So, but it's just basically a, a gameplay walkthrough, uh, you know, very basic uh, uh, video. Yeah, and hopefully it's just going to show you guys uh, sort of around the game a little bit, especially for those of you who didn't get a chance to actually play it in the alpha stress test and are watching this as you're as you're waiting for your download to complete on uh, on your full game, uh, especially if you pre-ordered it and uh, and are waiting to get into the open beta. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to follow, share, Twitter it, and Facebook it, and everything else that you kids do nowadays. And um, yeah, thanks thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, guys.